See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Greg, I suppose you know all about what King's Arms like on a European uh, day. Just how, how different is the atmosphere? I think the, the atmosphere is always, always great at King's Arms, especially you know, for the homeboys. Um, the, the crowd have been fantastic for so far this season. And it being the first European game now, I think it's very important as a group of players right, we get off to the best possible start and, you know, and give the crowd something to shout about. And Edinburgh, of course, came here and won last season. Just sort of, is there, is there any knowledge that you gain from that that you think, well, that's the sort of thing that Bereave might try that you can now use as sort of in Gloucester's defence, if you like? I think on that particular day, I think Gloucester probably tried to play a bit too much rugby, given the conditions. It was a terrible day to play rugby, and obviously the weather's not too great uh, at the start of this week. So if the weather stays the same, it's important we, we play to the conditions, play in the right areas of the field and, and try and put Breve under pressure uh, with our kicking games, so we're not putting ourselves under a needless pressure in our, in our own half. So as a key decision maker, actually, there's, there's a lot of responsibility on you. I mean, obviously, in an ideal world, Gloucester would like to play at a high tempo on a, on a fast, dry track, wouldn't they? Well, ideally, yeah, but I think we live in the wrong country for that. So we need to play the conditions. And as always, you know, it's big pressure on, on the 9s and 10s and, and 15s in terms of the kicking game. So uh, that's a big part of the, the battle on, on Thursday night that we win that if the weather turns out to be um, bad. Um, so we need to just play that by ear and then make a decision around uh, you know, like how exactly we're going to play. In terms of taking your opportunities, how can you make sure that the sort of opportunities that presented themselves against Leicester for the four try bonus points and also against Saris for the win, you know, that they don't go amiss in the future? Because obviously the team's still evolving, isn't it? Oh yeah, we're still evolving. I think we've came a long way from, you know, look at that Northampton game to um, their performance against the, the Saris there at the weekend. And we have came a long way, but you know, we want to be winning these games. And I think it's just a sort of a culmination of a couple of things and, and really just an understanding from for everybody just we don't have to score um, on that sort of first phase possession hold on to the ball to go through the phases just make them defend us you know and eventually they'll crack and I think it's simple things done well time and again if we just hold that ball for an extra phase you know I think probably would have scored on a couple of tries and, and maybe we could have um, held on to win that Saris game at the weekend Patience and confidence then? Yes absolutely patience is very key I think we've been playing well and creating a lot of opportunities and then, you know, maybe somebody gets a bit excited and, and chucks an offload when we maybe just hold out. We get a little bit flat and just need to hold a bit of depth and just to finish off. So patience is the key word for Thursday night. How much preparation do you do against an opposition who are pretty much unknown? Right, you, you look at the, the French league and you'll see that they're in the bottom too. But beyond that, do you just focus on yourselves more? There's certainly a little bit of that, especially playing at home as well. If, if you get your part right and you play how you want to play, you should be in a strong position to win the game. And you know We're definitely not going to take breathe lightly. They're a massive set of forwards. And you know you said that they're near the bottom of the French league, but the French league's a good league and very good teams in and amongst it. So uh, We've got to prepare to the best of our ability as we do every week. Uh, we've actually trained well, well in poor weather uh, at the start of the week, so we just need to keep building to the game. Um, take patience and take a high intensity into the game.